Hey everyone, this is Keith Schleicher from Gaming Trend and Tabletop Throwdown, and I'm here to tell you about Codenames Pictures. Now, if you've been gaming for a little while, then you've probably heard of the original Codenames. Heck, you've practically had to live under a rock to not hear of Codenames. Codenames is a very popular word style game where you try to have a clue giver give clues that are going to make your fellow teammates point at certain words that are going to match a key that is given to the Codemasters. Well, Codenames Pictures is very similar, except it uses pictures. Big surprise. But is it any good? Do the pictures really make a difference between that and the actual words, the original Codenames? Well, it's probably a matter of taste, but let's take a look at the gameplay and you can see for yourself. So here is your typical setup for a game of Codename Pictures. You have five pictures across and then four down, and then you have a key card. And you'll see here that it's the same kind of layout as your regular Codenames. You have the um, blue and the red, and the player who goes first will be the team that has one more to get than the other team. So in this case, red will need to get eight correct, while the blue team only needs to get seven. And clues are again typical of code names. You say one word and then a number, and then the people who are on your team guessing can get up to as many guesses as one more than the number that you give. So let's say that it's the blue team's turn and I say bow. Well, it kind of sounds a little bit like taking a bow, so touch that one and that would be correct. So we put that there. And then um, maybe I think of bow and arrow, which kind of sounds like bow. So I would touch here and then the uh, people giving the clues would put on the blue or the red, depending on which color it was. Again, you have the spy, and if the spy is uh, guessed, then the uh, team who guessed that automatically loses. Games don't take very long, maybe 10 minutes. Um, I felt that the pictures added a lot to it. You can see here that these pictures that they have aren't your typical pictures that they have a lot of different um, wacky type of things. You have a windmill here, but it looks like wasp wings or something, and a mermaid in a fishbowl, and you know, uh, you know, show me the money, I guess, <laughs> right there. But these pictures aren't your typical pictures that you can find, and there's a lot of things that you can do to really stretch your imagination to get these. But you can't stretch it too much that the clue is so obscure that your team isn't going to get it. And that's where some of the fun lies. You know, how far do you go? What's the right clue to give? With uh, regular code names, you, you have the word there and sometimes there are multiple meanings there. But there's always multiple meanings and uh multiple ways to describe these pictures and sometimes people will take a look at a picture and just be way off from what you were thinking. I don't know that this necessarily replaces code names, but I think it's a great addition and if you don't have the original code names, you should at least look at getting code names pictures. So what's my final verdict on code names pictures? I brought this to a family event and we ended up playing this multiple, multiple times. I think until we actually ran out of the stack of cards that has the pictures on it. It's kind of nice because the cards are double sided. So when you're done with one game, you can just flip them over and go to a second game without much hassle. However, I still wish that they actually had more pictures. I'm sure that with the pictures in different positions it's going to play a little bit differently as far as which clues you're going to give but I still wish that there was a little more variety to it however you can probably use some of your own pictures and this is ripe for expansions that we can 
expect from CGE. And we also know about the licensed versions of code names that are going to be coming out in the not too distant future. So there's going to be plenty of code names to go around. I think that if you like the original code names, but you want a little more imagination and maybe lean towards something like Dixit, then you should definitely pick up Codenames Pictures. And Codenames Pictures is a wonderful deal at under 20 bucks. So be on the lookout for it. It shouldn't be that hard to find anymore if it was hard to find around Christmas. I think it's a great game. And while I don't think it will have the same momentum as the original Codenames, it's still a game that I think is definitely worthy of your collection.